Dr. J. Common and Review on Verification Methodology. We are a group of three members. I am Arayam Joy. Our project is to verify the functionality of priority encoder using system Verilog. This is our complete architecture to verify the functionality of design. It consists of DUT, environment and test. DUT is nothing but the device under test. Here it's a priority encoder. Priority encoder is same as binary encoder. The only difference is that if two or more input are given at the same time, the input having highest priority will take the precedence. Next is environment. Environment comprises of generator, driver, scoreboard and monitor. The generator will generate the transaction and driver will drive the generated transaction to DUT. Now we will look into each, each module. Next is transaction class. Here the transaction is declared as a class. The transaction defines the pin level activity generated by the agent or it generates the stimulus which are required to this generate. Inside the transaction class, we will write all the stimulus. So the transaction act as a placeholder for activity monitored by the monitor. In this program, stimulus is A and we have to we have to get the output C. To randomize the input A, we declared it as RAN. To give the constraint to the input, constraint C mode is used. Here constraint given in such a way that it should go below, it should not go below 2 or and it should not go above 128. Next is the functional, uh, next is a functional function to display all the input and the output of this program. Next is generator. Generator is declared as a class and actually generator generate a, generate the stimulus and send it to the driver. The main function is like it will create and randomize the packet which is put into the mailbox. A ma mailbox is nothing but it is used to send the randomized transaction through driver. For that we declared a mailbox. Here it is transferred. Here it will transfer the packet from gen generator to driver. Here we are declaring a repeat count. Repeat count is used to declare how many times the transaction is going to generate. If the transaction is failed, then the corresponding message will be displayed. Else, we will put, uh, put the transaction to the mailbox. Then we are using an event ended, which is used to show the end of the transaction. Next slide will be explained by Bobby. Okay. This is the driver class. Driver's main function is to interact with the design under test. It receives transactions from the generator and raises the packet level data inside the transaction into DUT. Mailbox is declared here as gen to drive. It is the same mailbox that is declared in the generator. The value generated by the generator is accessed by the driver from this mailbox. A task is declared to reset the driver and once reset, the interface values are set to zero. Then a main task is present in which all valid transactions are continuously given to the interface. It is done using a forever loop and after passing each transaction, a counter value is incremented. Next is the monitor class. The monitor observes pin level activity on interface signals and convert into packet levels, which is sent to the components such as scoreboard. It observes the communication of DUT with test bench. It returns an error if the protocol rules are not met. It also observes the input of DUT for functional coverage analysis. A mailbox is declared here, also named as monitor to screen scoreboard. It lies between monitor and the scoreboard. The value generated by the monitor are put into this mailbox so that scoreboard can access the values from this mailbox. A for loop is declared to represent all transactions between the monitor and the mailbox. Next is the scoreboard. The scoreboard receives data items from the monitor and combines them with the expected value. It varies from design to design based on the design under test. If the 
expectation is getting a true value then it displays that the result is expected there is an error the message wrong result will be displayed the next slide will be explained by lindu krishna hi i am lindu i will be explaining the environment test the tut and the topmost module test bench top first we will move on to the environment class environment is nothing but a container class for grouping higher level components like agents and scoreboard it contains mailbox generator driver monitor and scoreboard in these two lines we created handles for generator driver monitor and scoreboard next we created two mailboxes one is tent to drive and monitor to scoreboard the generator is shared between generator and driver and the monitor to scoreboard is shared between monitor and scoreboard to enable the communication between them this is the constructor method in which create the objects of all these things like mailbox generator driver monitor score and scoreboard and we pass the interface handles to the new method the activity of environment can be divided into three methods the first one is retest this is a task to call initialization method in this task we are calling the reset task of driver class to reset the interface signals initially next task is test here we are calling the main method of generator class which creates the randomized transactions and put it into the mailbox called generator next it calls the main method of driver class which is used to track the transaction packets to interface signals next it is calling the main method of monitor class in which we are sampling the logics and sending transaction to the scoreboard next one is the main method of scoreboard class which contains a logic to compare the received results with the expected result if the result is same as the expected result then it displays a message like result is as expected otherwise it displays the error message next is the task post test this is a method to wait for the completion of generation and driving at the last we are having another task called task run which is used to call all the above tasks and this dollar finish is called after the post test to end the simulation so we move on to the test program test code is written within a program block the test bench is responsible for creating the environment configuring the test bench and initiating the simulation child here we first we declared and created the environment then assign the value of the number of transactions to the variable repeat count of the generator class then we initiated the stimulus driving by calling environment dot run method this is the explanation for the test program next we move on to the test bench top which is the topmost module which connects the dut and test bench it consists of dut test and interface instances the interface connects dut and test bench here first we created the clock and reset signals then created an instance of interface in order to connect dut and the test case a test case instance is created and interface handle is passed to the test as an argument then a dut instance is created and the interface signals are connected to the dut ports and we are going to see the dut that is the module priority encoder in the next slide this is our dut which is having uh, the 8 bit input a the encoded output c along with this we are having the inputs like clock reset and valid we have designed in such a way that only at the posterior edge of the clock 
this entire part will be one and at the positive positive edge of the reset uh, the output c we reset that value of this output c to zero if reset is equal to zero and value is equal to one then this entire block will be one here first we are checking the msp bit is having a value one or not and it is the highest priority bit. If it is one, it will be giving an output value as seven. And if it is zero, then we go for the next bit, A of six. And if we obtain the value of A of six as one, it will give the encoded output value as six, that is one, one, zero. And this continues like this. Next, we move on to the output which we obtained. Here, see, uh, initially the reset is equal to 1, hence we are resetting the output value to 0. Then, for the next input, um, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 which is having a of 4 value as 1 and this is the highest priority bit compared to this hence we are getting the output encoded value as 4 which is 1 0 0 and for the next input 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 here this a of 6 is having a value 1 Hence, we are getting the output value as 1106. The next thing to be 0110, Here also we are having A of 6 value as 1 and obtaining the result as 110. For this input, A of 5 value is 1 which is the priority bit compared to this. Hence, we are obtaining the output value as 5. That is 101. Just see this. Here the value of A is 29. In binary representation of 29, uh, it is having A of 4 equal to 1. Hence, we are obtaining 4 at the output. So, in this project, we designed a 8 priority encoder and it is verified using system ID log. The output inputs were constrained from 2 to 128 and finally we got the result as expected. So, thanks for watching. Thank you.